long are you planning on being a freeloader? At least think about how mom and dad feel. What? Leeching off our parents at your age. No job, just living off their generosity. It's unbelievable. Don't you feel ashamed? Wait a minute. Gracie, what are you talking about? Why are you calling me a freeloader? I heard it from mom the other day. You quit your job, right? And you've barely left the house in the past six months. Huh? I quit my job? Not just that. You're even asking mom for an allowance. It's so pathetic that I want to cry. How can you so casually burden mom and dad like that? Gracie, I think you're mistaken. I didn't quit my job and I'm not freeloading. Also, I've never asked mom and dad for an allowance. Don't lie. Mom told me everything. I can't take it anymore. It's too hard living with her. She called me crying because we live so far from each other. What? Listen, this is your final warning. If you plan to continue mooching off them, I'll take things into my own hands. I will not let you have your way on this. I'll protect mom and dad. I haven't done anything wrong. So what exactly are you gonna do? If you've got time to talk back like that, you have time to find a job. You're in your mid-30s. Stop being such a burden. Mom, what's going on? Why did you lie to Gracie about me being a freeloader? I didn't lie. It's a fact that you're freeloading. You don't go to work and you're shut in all morning till night. How is that working? I do remote work. I told you that, remember? I can work on my PC without going into the office. I'm in my room all day because I'm working. You always come up with such nonsense. You have quite the nerve to lie to your parents like that. You were actually laid off. We know the truth. What? I was laid off? Yes, that's right. You haven't been doing remote work. You were fired, weren't you? I heard from the neighbors. Your company had mass layoffs six months ago, which is the same time you started staying at home. So you think I'm lying and hiding that I was fired? It's the explanation I can think of. Your story would be too much of a coincidence. Come on, Faith. It's time to come clean with the truth. You're not really working from home. You have no job, right? Mom, this is all a misunderstanding. Yes, there were layoffs, but that was in a different department. Nobody in my department was let go. A different department? Yes, in fact, the whole fiasco led to a review of the working style. That's why remote work was introduced at the same time. Then tell me why you're taking money from us every month. You're an unemployed deadbeat with no money. I won't let you fool your father and I with your lies any longer. Stop claiming I'm taking your money. I'm just getting back the money I previously lent you. Huh? You haven't been paying me back and the deadline has long passed. Since I'm at home all day, I found out that you often skip your part-time job. Dad retired early and is saving on social security checks, but he's living beyond his means. That's why I'm so insistent on getting the money back. I actually think I'm being generous by only asking for $300 a month. What? When you lend money, you should consider it gone. Isn't that what they say? We're family. You shouldn't expect a repayment. What? And you're just now wanting the money back? You must have gotten worried after losing your job, right? That's why you're trying to squeeze money out of us, isn't it? Oh, you're being very arrogant. And you made up some story about the money I'm taking back actually being some kind of allowance. You need to stop playing the victim. Shut up! Just hurry and find a job and stop taking money from us. What do you think we sent you to college for? Mom. Outside of school, you've always been useless. I thought your finishing college and finding a job would pay off. But in the end, you just get laid off, become a freeloader and a parasite living off your parents. We shouldn't have let you go to college even when you begged us on your knees. Even though you were against it, I'm grateful you let me go to college. After I got a job, I lived at home and contributed a lot to your living expenses, right? I gave both of you my entire bonus, didn't I? 
So why are you saying such horrible things? You should be doing that anyway. Don't act like you're doing us any favors by doing the bare minimum. What? On top of that, you keep nagging me about paying you back. We sent you to college, but you end up a basement dweller. I'm really disappointed in how you turned out. I should have kicked you out a long time ago. I should never have let you stay at home after getting a job. That's very harsh, Mom. When I got a job offer in Tokyo, you withdrew my application without my permission. You said you wouldn't allow me to leave. How can you say that after how much you interfered with my life? Shut up, you useless nerd. You've been pathetic since you were little. Your sister Gracie, on the other hand, was always a thoughtful and wonderful girl. Now she's married and never causes any problems for us. She even offered to let your dad and I move in with her. Gracie has always been very good to you. You and dad spoiled her with attention since she was little. That's why she's so considerate of you two. Well, I give you at least some love as well, huh? You're unattractive, unsociable, nerdy, and not at all cute. But I raised you properly, didn't I? How can you talk like that to your own daughter? How can you say you gave me love? If you want to feel more loved, then find a job. That's all you're good for, you nerd. And stop taking money from us, seriously. Or we'll kick you out. <laughs> How are you feeling right about now? How does it feel to see an empty house? I don't understand what's going on. Why can't I get in the house? My stuff's outside. I sold the family house. You can't live there anymore. If you don't find a job, you're going to be homeless. You sold mom and dad's house? But what about mom and dad? What are they gonna do now? No need to worry. They'll live with my husband and I. Looks like you're going to be homeless. <laughs> what? Mom and Dad don't want to support a freeloader anymore. My husband and I just happen to be buying a house at the same time. It's a nice two-family home, so there will be plenty of room. I haven't heard anything about this. I didn't know I was being kicked out today or anything about you guys moving in together. Of course we didn't tell you on purpose. We intended to leave you behind. There's no room for you at the new place. Huh? Who'd want to live with someone without a job? If you want to live like that, you should live alone. An adult like you shouldn't be causing trouble for your parents. Listen, Gracie, you may have heard some things from mom, but it's all a misunderstanding. I'm not a deadbeat, and I do have a job. I don't want to hear your excuses. I honestly don't care anymore. I wanted to live with mom and dad as soon as possible. You being such a leech actually worked out perfectly for us. What? You wanted to live with them? For financial reasons, to be honest. <laughs> it's hard to buy a home around here with the property values constantly rising. But mom and dad will probably help out since we're living together. Plus, they will probably help out around the house and with the kids. Killing two birds with one stone. You say you can't forgive me for mooching off mom and dad, but aren't you doing the same thing? Even if we both rely on them, they'd be happier living with my husband and I. They've always loved me more than you. What did mom and dad say? Are they really willing to help out with the cost of raising your kids? Well, I haven't asked them directly. <laughs> huh? Well, letting them live with us. It should be assumed without having to say anything. They've always spent a lot of money on me. I imagine they at least help out with a loan. That's true, they paid for most of your wedding and honeymoon after all. They prefer me over an ungrateful bookworm like you. Good luck with the homeless life. They live with me now. You just have to survive on your own. Fine, goodbye. Don't ever get involved with us again. I don't want to be associated with the deadbeat. No, oh, it's all good. They have zero savings, so good luck taking care of them. What? Mm-hmm. I won't help out whatsoever. As you wished, I'll just disappear. Please take care of Mom and Dad. Wait. Wait a minute. What do you mean? 
Mom and Dad have zero savings? That can't be true. They had enough money to support your freeloading ass, right? They paid for my wedding! What if I told you it was me who actually paid for all of that? You mean for my wedding and honeymoon expenses? That's right. Remember when Mom and Dad gave you that fat wad of cash? Well, that was actually all the money they took from me. What? Well, technically, I lent it to them, but they practically forced me to give it to them. They claimed they were broke after sending me to college, so I had to pay. Is that true? They're really selfish people, Gracie. In the end, they only paid for my first year. I had to get by on student loans after that. They're only struggling now because they slack off by not going to their part-time jobs. They basically wasted all their money. What? They don't believe I actually have a remote job either. All I did was ask for my money back. But they play the victim complaining to you that I'm a jobless parasite asking for an allowance. I'm just sick of it. Wait, wait, hold on. So you're really not mooching off of them? I don't really care what everyone thinks at this point. Anyway, I need to find a place to live. Take good care of mom and dad. No, no, that's not okay. Wait, Faith. Hmm? I was expecting mom and dad to help us out, but now you're telling me they have zero savings? There's no benefit in living with them now. But isn't there? You save them from having to live with their despised daughter. Doesn't that make it worth living with them? No, that's not what I meant at all. But you sold the family home, right? Surely you have some money from that. Yes, but it's not nearly enough. I thought they had a lot of money saved up. I mean, I thought they were completely supporting you for six months. I thought they had a ton of savings, but you're saying they have almost nothing? <laughs> yep. Well, it's really none of my business at this point. Hey, Faith. I'll sell you the family home as a special offer right now. But you have to pay up front in cash. Huh? Why me? I've already rented a place. I don't need the house. Why don't you just ask our real estate agent to handle it? The house won't sell. That's why I'm asking you to buy it. Really? I don't know why, but it won't sell. We're only asking for $500,000. But nobody's buying, even though it's a bargain. The realtor keeps asking me to lower the price. What part of that is a bargain? The price is outrageous. I beg your pardon? The house is over 60 years old. Plus, we haven't properly maintained it. The roof and decks are falling apart. There's no way you can sell a house like that for $500,000. But the location is good, right? Well, the hospital's nearby, so it's great for older people. But the schools in the neighborhood have really bad ratings. And it's way too close to the airport. No one's gonna buy an old house like that in such a location for $500,000. But you're working remotely, right? If you're really working, you should just buy it. The location doesn't matter if you don't have to commute and you don't have kids. So the schools don't matter. <sighs> like I said, I've already rented a place. There's no way I'll move back there. My new gated apartment is great. It's in a gated community. A gated community? You live in a nice place like that by yourself? I wanted to try living in a nice place at least once. I was going to move out after getting a job, but you made me live with you. So I'm finally able to make one of my dreams come true. So you really won't buy it. If you buy it now, I'll sell it to you for 300000 Please buy the house. We're having a hard time here. Because Gracie asked you to help her buy that huge house. Well, if you knew the whole situation, it would be easier to understand. I didn't know your father and I would have to pay the mortgage and living expenses. But suddenly, we're being asked to pay $1,000 a month on top of living expenses. So please, Faith, buy your family home. <laughs> I wouldn't even take it for $300,000. What? <laughs> anyway... I hope all of you enjoy living together. I'm sure you'll be happier with Gracie than your freeloading daughter.
Take mom and dad away from me right now. There's no point in living together if they don't have any money. Faith, you're living in a gated community, right? Just let them live with you. I don't want to do that if they don't have any money. Why don't you make them get jobs? They could work part-time or something. Neither of them want to work. They use not knowing the area as an excuse. On top of that, they're demanding money for watching the kids all day. They want childcare fees. Can you believe that? You should just pay him. No way! That makes no sense. Why should we be robbed of our hard-earned money? Just think of it as your daughter. Like duty and do your best. Look, I'm not in contact with either of them, so you gotta be the one to support them now. You have got to be kidding me. Don't make dumb excuses like that. But I was cut off from the family, was I not? Shut up! I don't care. Just give us some money. If you're not going to take mom and dad, at least help support us. <laughs> I honestly wish you would shut up. You told me to never get involved with you again. I'm just going to delete your contact info. Mom and dad's too. That way you can't bother me with this nonsense ever again. Huh? Wait a minute. Are you seriously walking away from us? Apparently, I'm just a useless nerd who only studies. I can't imagine a situation where I'd actually be appreciated by any of you. Send mom and dad my regards. So, yeah, things got pretty crazy after that. I mean, who would have thought, right? Gracie had this whole plan going on with her husband. She managed to convince him that buying the house was a good idea by saying, my parents will help pay for it. Classic Gracie move, right? But here's the kicker. Our parents had like zero savings, so they couldn't even help with a loan, let alone living expenses. So Gracie's husband got seriously ticked off. I heard him yelling stuff like, this is not what we agreed on. It sounds like they're on the edge of divorce now, which let's be honest, would just make things even more of a mess for all of us living there. Predictably, mom and dad started freaking out. They finally grabbed some part-time jobs. I guess the reality check hit them hard. You could practically feel the tension in the air every time they were all in the same room. Gracie, mom and dad are funneling most of their earnings into paying off the loan now. I mean, it's a lot of strain on everyone and you can tell they're all feeling it. But you know what? I decided to take matters into my own hands. I hired a lawyer to help me get back the money mom and dad owed me. Yeah, that's right. The money they swiped when they sold the family house. I can't wait to see their faces when they get that letter from the lawyer. It's been a wild ride. But I'm ready to see this whole mess sorted out once and for all. <laughs>